This video will show you how to use the Manage My Notify service, a powerful tool that allows you to send notification messages to hundreds, even thousands of contacts, all at once. You will learn how to send recorded voice messages to large or small groups of landlines and cell phones. Manage My Notify can also send text messages and emails. You can send all three types of notifications from one job. A quick, easy, and effective way of getting important messages out fast. If you're using your tablet or smartphone, download the Manage My Notify app from the Google or Apple Store and enter the unique web address in this field. If you are using this service with your computer, enter the unique web address into your PC's browser bar. The Manage My Notify service is fully functional with Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla. Functionality is limited with Internet Explorer and Safari browsers. Once a service has been loaded onto your mobile device or computer, you will need to enter your username and password to log into your account. Please contact our office to receive your username and password. Press or click here to open the main menu. There are four administrative features to this service. Announcements, phone books, jobs, and account. Announcements. Announcements are recorded messages that you can send to your phone book contacts. From the main menu, press Announcements to access your current announcement library. To record a new announcement, press the blue plus button to open the Actions window and select Add Announcement. Enter a description for your new announcement in the Description field. You can use your device or computer to record by pressing the microphone button if displayed. Press stop when you have finished recording your message. Press this button to save your recording. The cloud button, if displayed, allows you to upload a pre-recorded announcement from your computer. You can also call the Manage My Notify Administration Center to record your announcement. Press the phone button for a list of access numbers. If you call in, you will be asked for your subscriber ID, which is your 10-digit phone number including area code. You will then be asked to enter your password. Your default password is four zeros. Follow the automated phone instructions and press pound when you have finished recording your announcement. It will display in your announcement library with a date and timestamp which you can rename from the Edit Announcement window. You can edit your announcements by selecting an announcement from your announcement list which will open the Edit Announcement window. To listen to the selected announcement, press the play button. To change the announcement description, type in the new description. The download button allows you to save a copy of your recorded announcement. To delete this announcement, press the red delete button. Press the update button to update this announcement. Phone books. Phone books are used to organize and store your phone numbers, email addresses, or text addresses. From the main menu, press Phone Books to access your current phone books. To create a new phone book, press the blue plus button and select the Add Phone Book option. In the description field, create a name for your new phone book. Press the green Add button and choose from the drop-down options to add your phone, email, or text contact. If text message is not displayed, please contact our office if you want to activate this feature. Please note phone contacts must include their area codes. You can upload multiple contacts at one time with the Cloud button. 
Please contact our office for instructions on uploading multiple contacts from a spreadsheet. Press the green check button to finish adding your contact to the phone book. Open a phone book and click on a contact to open the Edit Phone Book Entry window. Clicking on any of the three fields will allow you to change the type of notification, phone, email, or text message. Click OK once the edits have been made. Click Update to close the entry and save the new changes in the phone book. Jobs The Jobs section is used to add, delete, and manage notification jobs. From the main menu, press the Jobs button. This will display completed and scheduled jobs. You can select any of the jobs in your list to review details or to delete a scheduled job. To schedule a new job, press the blue plus button to open the Actions window and select Add Job. Quick Job Feature Activation Create a name for your new job in the Enter Description field. Select a phone book. Select an announcement. Press the phone button and your job will start immediately. Use Upload to add a new announcement for this job. Once an announcement has been selected, a play button will allow you to listen to the announcement. You can enter an email subject line if you are sending email notifications. For text notifications, enter the text message that you would like them to receive. Please contact our office if you would like to activate the text notification feature. Use the calendar field to set specific job start and end dates. You can also use the time field to select the time range that you would like the job to run. Press Set to complete your selections. Press the phone button to schedule or send out the notification job to your selected phone book. Please note the calendar and time fields allow for scheduling of future jobs. By default, Manage My Notify will only send out jobs between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. Please contact our office if there is a need to change those default times. When you signed up for this service, we created certain defaults to meet your needs. For more information on the advanced features of this service, please contact our office and we will supply you with a detailed user guide for the advanced features.